This is the mine running in automatic mode. The conveyor feeds the mine, balls go down into the explosion chute or into the bypass. The explosion feeds balls six at a time, holds the other balls and then the next six load in. They go down the wooden chute into the conveyor and then through to the stepper. You can see balls going into the bypass automatically. Sometimes they just bounce in there randomly. They then go up the stepper and then down through the waterfall. This is fully automatic mode. No human controls needed. The mine can be put into manual mode and the explosion operated by the detonator. The conveyor and the stepper can be operated by the hand generator. Let's see it in action. With the mine in fully manual mode, the crowd can operate the GBC. Plunge the detonator, watch the mountain explode balls will flow down into the conveyor then someone else can operate the hand generator I'm hoping kids will have a lot of fun with this I've certainly been having a lot of fun testing it using the old 9 volt motors it operates very smoothly the modules have been picked so there's very low friction when the chute is full, the bypass mode operates and balls can just flow down to the waterfall. This means the module will never be backed up and if no one is operating the manual mode, then balls just continue through to the layout. You can operate the generator as fast as you want and it feeds balls pretty quickly. If I flick it to automatic mode and disable the explosion on automatic, then the conveyor and the stepper runs by itself and all the crowd is left to do is just play with the explosions. This of course is just a power function to remote control running a servo. I've made the detonator really robust. I think it'll take a pretty good beating. In this video I haven't built the sides of it yet, but it's pretty strong. And now, behind the scenes. This module is 100% LEGO with no computer programming. The only software is the humans powering it. It uses two old 9 volt motors, two Power Functions M motors, one Power Functions servo, one Power Functions infrared, Power Functions remote, two Power Functions LEDs, three Power Functions switches, and a lot of Power Functions extension cables. The module starts by using a modified WM01 module by Matt Norman from Grab All Pit. Then I've got a custom gearbox here that uses both the 9 volt generator and the power functions motor. The LEDs to light up the flames in the explosion. A gradual switch which operates the servo every so often and a manual gearbox. The gear train goes down to drive the conveyor belt and the stepper based on Rickfield's Lost on Lombard. A close up of the explosion, it rolls over and pushes up the rocks. And 
the uh, power function servo underneath which operates it. The explosion has a master off switch. When turned off, this lets the humans operate the explosion. The conveyor and the stepper are still running. If I turn it to manual, then now the generator is linked to the 9 volt motor. And this now drives the rest of the mechanism. The generator can be turned in either direction. There is a small one-way drive system, originally by Cata. This then feeds down into the stepper and the conveyor, and it doesn't matter which way I turn the generator, the conveyor will always go in the right direction. The explosion is now operating by the detonator. This is just the power function's remote hidden in the bottom. It's also removable to change the batteries. Pull the pin out, poke it out from the back. And lastly, I've learnt my lesson from building GBCs for many years and this thing is completely modular. Every section comes apart, every section fits in nicely, can be quickly and easily removed. In case motors need to be changed, things need to be fixed and repaired. Every section can come apart. inside of the detonator. This took a lot of work to get quite reliable. The wheels operate as a flywheel and there is a spring mechanism that returns it back to the top. The hand crank was the last thing I built. Again just has a 9 volt motor in it wired directly to the other 9 volt motor and this is changeable too just in case it goes wrong over the weekend. I started building this module back in September. I started by laying out Lego plates to get a rough size and then build the mock-ups of what I envisaged in my head. I had a rough sketch on paper and turning this into a 3D model really helped set the size. A couple of bits didn't make it, the rotating section in there, uh, just to make it a bit simpler. I, wasn't, I was a bit unsure how the generator would work doing three sections. Starting on the gearbox, first ugly concept, the uh, one-way system uh, the gearbox and a slow crank to operate the servo. This started all over the place and then eventually I built it more compact, improving the design as I went, working out where it was going to go on the base plate. Hand generator in the corner you can see. You can see a second mock-up in the background. Then I decided to take a break from the mechanics and work on the creativity. Coming up with a nice river and conveyor belt and building Rick's Lost on Lombard module, which is a nice little module. Tidied up the gearbox again, colour coded the connection points. This was the best thing I did to build the first version and then leave it built while I build the second better version of the explosion. The basic concept's the same, uh, but the larger uh, unit was much more effective. A lot less friction in it too. Another mock-up, just seeing how it all fits together, positioning the explosion on the mountain. I had no idea where it was going to go because I still had to uh, build the down ramps, the wooden structure. 
I had to build it in a way that balls did not fly off or bounce off. Everything has been very carefully designed. The modularity, I still needed to pull this thing apart and put it back together again. We we're nearing the finish line here. This was a uh, early November. Everything was sitting into place. I will credit my wife for suggesting adding the splash of colour into the explosion. It really brought the explosion to life. And I'm so glad I changed it and listened to her. <laughs> It's very easy to pull apart. I can build this thing in about five minutes. Adding the minifigs and a bit of a story to it. Then working on the detonator. Needed to be a power functions remote, hidden, but I needed this thing to be super reliable. It is reinforced and braced in many ways. Once again, mocking up a concept and then coming to the full design. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the mine. Thanks for watching.